We do have new information tonight about a fatal tractor trailer crash in Hamburg. A semi drove off the thruway and crashed into a house there last night. Good evening. Don is off tonight. State police say the driver of the semi was a 57 year old man from Ontario. News 4's Angela Christophoros was at that scene last night. She's been back watching crews work and talking to families there today. Now, this is on Highland Parkway in Hamburg. Angela? Well, Jackie, crews are hard at work out here. Over the past few hours, they did manage to pull the tractor trailer out of the home and shed. But as you can see, it's still on the property here. And right now, crews are, are working on pulling the tractor trailer back up onto the throughway. They're using an excavator and they have a cable attached to the tractor trailer. But when you consider how big it is and how heavy it is, that is not going to be easy. Now, a husband, wife, and sister live in this home and they're very lucky they weren't home at the time of the crash last night. State police say the driver of the tractor trailer has been identified as David Rainey, a 57-year-old man from Owen Sound, Ontario. Rainey was traveling westbound on the I-90 last night when he suffered an apparent medical emergency, which caused him to drive off the roadway, strike a utility pole and a chain link fence before crashing into the side of a home and shed on Highland Parkway. The driver was transported to Mercy Hospital, where he was was pronounced dead. Today, owners of the home removed some of their personal belongings after being told it is not livable. They are understandably shaken up and didn't want to talk on camera today, but a neighbor who lives directly next door describes what she heard. And I just suddenly hear this loud boom. Like, I thought it was thunder at first, but then I didn't, it didn't seem right. The whole house shook. The neighbors said the car, houses across the street, their house shook a little bit. So I ran out the back door. I started pounding on their back door. I was screaming, is anybody home? Is anybody home? And then come to find out, one of our other neighbors was on the phone with the owner of the house, and he's like, no, they're out to dinner. They just got there. A hazmat team responded to the scene last night, and crews confirmed the tractor trailer was hauling electronics, paint, and sodium cyanide. They say the contents of the trailer were not impinged at all in the accident. Now, crews still have a huge task ahead of them as they work to pull the tractor trailer back up onto the I-90. Now, when they do get around to doing that, traffic delays are expected. As for the home, it is condemned, and the owners here, they can't come back until repairs are made. Reporting live in Hamburg, Angela Christophoros, News 4 at 6.